Hello YouTubers, here I am to do a video on the Sanyo VCT 5300P 2N video cassette recorder. This is a Betamax recorder, or as Sanyo marketed their stuff, Betacord, which is uh, a remnant of their, their failed format called V-Cord and V-Cord 2. Um, I don't have any examples of that, but... Um, uh, Data Bits's recent um, YouTube video ha he he has one in it. Um, but if you want to know more about it, just Wikipedia it or something. So here's the front controls: eject, record, rewind, play, fast forward, stop, pause, and the record lock button so you don't accidentally press it. So you'd have to press both of these at the same time to record. And in there is your tracking control. We have our counter and memory. So when you press memory, when the counter reaches zero, the VCR will automatically stop. And you can reset the counter. All your clock and timer controls there tuning just turn it on and under this flap here is all the uh, tuning controls fortunately it's, uh, it's broken it's seen better days this one automatic fine tuning and all your tuning controls there which are a bit redundant and digital television days just have a look at the back so here's the back of it and there's your RF modulator channel output switch either channel 3 or 4 which is on the VHF band for tuning into your television set that lacks composite inputs um, test signal to help you tune that and you can select between uh, tuner input or external input so there I fitted these BNC to RCA adapters on a lot of uh, early well, 1980s um, power system video recorders BNC was common I believe um, NTSC video recorders used the standard RCA jack for video from the very beginning and your antenna in and out. There's also a remote pause jack right in there which is for this. It's simply just a pause remote. So if you're recording something and you want to cut out the ads you could sit in your armchair and hit pause and when the ad finished hit it again to resume recording. And that's just a little 3.5mm plug there one thing I did forget to mention was this video antenna button which basically allows you to record one program and watch another so when it's in video mode you'll be viewing on your television whatever information is going to the VCR but if you, you want to watch something else you'd switch to antenna which would bypass that and basically send the antenna signal straight into the TV but it wouldn't affect the recording so you'd still be recording your other program okay so here's the um, inside with the top cover off it also has an aluminium um, head cover there as well that I've removed. Um, so you can see this is the mechanical deck. So you have your pinch roller there with guides that wrap around this video drum. And you've got your uh, tape end sensor there. And you've also got your erase head right in there. And around here is your audio and control head and capstans in behind there as well. It's a bit hard to get the camera in there. 
But in that, um, in there, you might be able to spot one of the video heads. This this is a two head deck. So what happens is it uh, one head reads switches on for 180 degrees, and then the other head switches on for the other 180 degrees, and it just keeps reading it like that. So we've got our power supply over here and tuner, modulator, servo board, so that's capstan and drum control, and underneath is the, the two, um, two video boards and audio. I've got it hooked up to this little 5 inch black and white monitor. Um, two reasons is black and white. I don't have a small colour one, and it'll probably. Um, Reduce the chance of copyright infringement as well, the lower the quality. So let's put a tape in. Now this is a bit unusual for most Sanyo decks. Most Sanyo decks, like early VHS decks, did not thread the tape around the drum upon insertion like Sony. But this one is one of the exceptions. So it threads up like so. We'll just do an unthread as well. Get a good view of it. And again. And plus. So you can see it, it works fine. If I adjust the tracking controls, it'll go noisy. See, there, so it tracks perfectly fine. And I know the audio does work. Um, obviously, I don't have it hooked up for copyright infringement again. It's playing as it should. And also, um, I can show you the remote pause. So if I depress it, Because it's only a two head model, it's very hard to get noise free pause. You can see it works perfectly fine. Pass forward. Rewind. This one doesn't have um, video scan, so you can't queue and review. Um, or as it was referred to, beta scan. Uh, so it, it it predates that. The the popular model after this, which doesn't thread the tape, um, does have that feature. And I'll probably do a video on that model at some stage, because I have one of those as well. Um, I've actually got two of these. They're almost the same, except the other one I've got isn't the 2N. Uh, I'm not sure what the, the differences are, it's nothing major. And they're both in working condition now. So yeah, I hope you've in, enjoyed this uh, short demonstration of, of the insides of a, be a beta machine.